Hello everyone, this time I'm going to demo the Pokemon Arcade game, which is a mock-up Java game of Bubble Bobble. I developed this game with Chin Yi Chai and Nigel Nair for the final project of object-oriented programming course at Grossman. Alright, let's start take with the game. Let me open up my main file and run the Java. First, it pops a window with high score, start and quit button. It also has some instruction about how to play. Player 1 is Pikachu and use an D keys to move and right, W key for jump, space key for fire. W player 2 is Charmander and use left and right arrows key to move them left and right, up key for jump, enter key for fire. Some extra features in the game including L key for switching to next map, U for last map, P for pause, and F to open friendly fire mode. Let's start the game. At the beginning of the game, I click the B key to pause the game. You can see all the monsters are freezing and two heroes can now shoot the bubble. Also, two heroes can still face left and right. Let's go back to the game. There are multiple types of monsters in this game and the two heroes need to kill all the monsters and then go to the next round. The hero needs to shoot bubbles to trap the monster in them and then touch them in order to kill those monsters. Your hero will die if you are caught by the monster or get hit by the bullet. There are multiple items floating around the map. Bicycle is the speed up, harder is extra life, arrow is damage increase, and food is the point. If you get killed, your hero gets respawned. At this time, you are immune to any damage indicated by the Greek hero color. Once you kill all the monsters in this map, you automatically switch to next map. There are four types of monsters in the map. Ghastly is the palm, which will patrolling along the platform. Sableye is the jumper, which will jump randomly in the map. Hunter is a shooter, which will shoot bullets periodically. Ginger is a follower, it ignores the map and follows towards the hero's position slowly. This is the third map of the games, and I show a friendly fire mode, a uh, so called PvP mode in this map. I start this map by pressing F keys, and right now you will see Sharma is trying to kill the Pikachu with the red bullet, and Pikachu shoot back. And also in this mode, I said that the, the red bullet cannot kill the monsters, which would add as extra difficulty for the PvP mode, so you couldn't kill the monster, but monster can kill you. If you want to kill monster, we have to press F key again, go back to the normal mode, and then Shaman is going to clean all the rest monsters in this map. Looks like it's a happy ending that nothing left in the map. And we click the high score button, we can see a list of high scores in history, which is recorded by the JSON file. This is a list of essential features we implemented in these games, which is required for the cross grading. On top of these six essential features, we also implement another nine bonus features for the actual credit. For this Poker One Java games, we had 32 Java files in total, 335 GitHub commits, and 2547 lines of Java codes in total. This is the main structure for our games. We have a main function, which is going to create an arcade work component. It's responsible for the map generation and also listening to the key input. We also create two classes, including arcade work and arcade work frame. All the stuff you see in the games, they are objects, and all of these objects they are stored in the arcade world. So arcade world is responsible for the models and also the background music. As for the arcade world frames, it's responsible for the panels, buttons, and high scoreboard.
we use object-oriented programming ideas to develop these games. So we have a model which is abstract class. Also, object in these games are inherited from this class. Then we have image class, which is an abstract class inherited from the models. This class is meant for those game pieces which require pictures. For example, we need the picture of Pikachu and the Charmander for the hero class. In comparison, the projectile or the bullets in our games are just the red circles or blue circles, which does not require any pictures. As a result, we just show them as a simple drawings here as a comparison. Next, we have four classes which are inherited from image, showing as traps, uh, monsters, heroes, monster, and items. My team also developed a UML diagram for the games, which are the details how I will develop our object-oriented programming ideas. As you can see on the left, we have all the viewer components, which are basically the panels, high school board music, file I.O. type of stuff. And then on the right, we have, have all the headings, which are the interface for all the game pieces they are inherited to. And on the buttons, we have all the game, game components, for example, the monsters, heroes, items, and projectiles. We use a lot of OP ideas to develop, to develop this game, such as the use of abstractions and interfaces to reduce the work we are developing these games. Thanks for watching.